time for some cookery now. Tom is in the kitchen. We're very excited. What are you making? I'm making chicken burgers. You've got oh. them in front of you. It's your, it's your lunchtime, guys. Tom, we've been dreaming about this since Wednesday. Haven't we? Like, <laughs> we when have. we found out what was on the show, <laughs> we, we literally texted each other going, carriage, chicken burgers. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. OK, so I'm going to show you Where how to make start, it. Tom? Very easy, super tasty. OK, first thing we've got here is some yoghurt and we've got some sweet smoked paprika. Now, this is the marinade, OK? This is what... Normally, when you do fried chicken, you quite you normally associate it with buttermilk, and buttermilk is fine, it works great, but yoghurt, really accessible, a lot easier to get hold of. A lot of supermarkets don't have it. Now, the point where you put chicken into yoghurt or into buttermilk is that dairy acidity yeah. helps to tenderise. That tenderising purpose is really good, but particularly when you're using chicken thighs. Now, here... I'm using chicken thighs as opposed to chicken breasts. I love breasts. chicken thighs. Yeah, They're great. The flavour of them is beautiful. But they take a little bit more cooking, but that's why yeah. you tenderise them. And here, I've bashed them out between two pieces of cling film, so they're nice and thin, same yeah. size, even cooking. So you drop them Shall we? into Shall we the meat. Yeah, get going, get we'll going get with involved. it, guys. You get involved, OK? So you tenderise mm. them in the buttermilk <laughs> and with the mm. sweet smoked paprika so or the yoghurt, whichever you want. And then you marinate them for about half an hour. But you can leave them overnight if you want to. And then from that process, that kind of liquid, that, that lovely kind of coating on it, that's the thing that sticks in the seasoned flour. Now, the seasoned flour is a mixture of flour, garlic powder and dried oregano. And then once you've got it on, you give it a bit of a scrunch, OK? Seriously, so it gets that like texture that. that you want, those little crunchy, gnarly the, bits. Tom, so we're, so we're I'm just we're talking, just in a you, you eat. So you get right, it kind of like that, so, so it looks a bit gnarly, all right? Hang on, go back. What's in the flour mixture? It's garlic powder, <laughs> yeah. dried oregano. And yeah. as you dust it on it, you give it, like, scrunch it with your hands so it gets that kind of texture. Now, that's the way that you get those lovely little garlicky, crunchy There's bits. There's loads all... of crunchies. That's it. It's exactly. You... It's from doing it, the this sort so of method. Crunchy. This nice. is the way of doing it. It's also... There's a nice little trick people can do. You sometimes crack up and break up some cornflakes. They also work mm. in that to give it that kind of texture. And then, once you've got that texture, you drop them into a fryer, OK? Now, once they go into a fryer, you can shallow fry them if you want. Yeah, that I haven't got one of those nicely. fryers. No, me neither. That's how, exactly how, it. You could put them in a pan and just wash them your hands. You put them in a pan. How deep is the oil if you had a regular pan, Tom? You just want it to be just enough so that they kind of, like, half cover it, all right? Sunflower oil. Exactly, that's perfect. That would work really well. And then you cook them so they get a nice colour on them. Go nice and brown. Once they're browned, put them onto a tray mm -hmm. and then you whack them in the oven. Now, you can cook them in the oven for around about... 10, 15 minutes, OK, until until they're just cooked. So now, hang on. Really you take them out of there and then stick them in the oven? Exactly, because otherwise, otherwise that, that long process, you don't. they might too brown long. up too yeah. quickly, OK? You want the colour, the crispness on the outside, then you can put them in the oven. That way they're guaranteed to cook all the way through. You're not worried about it. Now, the flavourings to go with it, the way we're going to build it here, we've got some mayonnaise, I've got some sriracha sauce. You like sriracha? I like do. a bit of spice? really nice. So it's just literally a case of building it together as you want it. So we got sriracha and we got some American mm. mustard. That Tom, while you're doing this, we talk about we talk about pub in the park. We can, yeah. So the... it's coming back. To so tell us a little bit about the origins of pub in the park. Seven years old now, and no. it was set it up in the middle of Marlow, and it was the, for the first year, and it was about getting mates together, kind of Michelin star chefs and all my chef friends, to bring their restaurant and cook food in a park. Food and music. Music comes along, and it's kind of like you 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 eat something. Everyone does dishes. Kind of like, it's like Michelin star chefs do street food. Similar to this, all the sort of flavours that you want to build together. And it's its seventh year now, we're doing... It's amazing. Ten, so you go around ten, to different, different places within different the Different places, we're doing ten different places this year. So we're doing uh, new ones. We've got um, Leamington Spa, we've got Rygate this year. We're going back to the same places as well. So three of them are here in London. I mean, it's super exciting. We've got... Tiny Temper playing this year. He also does a fried chicken, which he's bringing, which is great. Really? Yeah, amazing, isn't it? And we've got Example coming over from Australia, so he's coming back. Amazing. So he's coming. The Jacksons are playing. And then in terms of you got sugar chefs, bags as we've well. got Marco Pia White turning up. We've got Cy Rimmer, Cy King from the Hairy Bikers. We've got the Great British Menu Crew. We've got Nisha Katona. We've got wow. Ed Gamble. We've got uh, Andy Oliver's. Do it. Like, it's, it, yeah, they're brilliant. It works really, really, really well. It's a great... different people. Like, is it like different stalls within the thing? Or... Exactly. That's exactly the same way that it works. You've got 
each restaurant, so myself, Atal Culture, Glyn Purnell, they all do their own kind of version of street food. So right. you go around, you eat lots of Amazing. different things and the different people. Then you hang out, you have a couple of drinks. Like, it's the best beer garden in the world. And then you have live bands playing, except the live band at this point really is, good. Probably, is probably the Jacksons, which is pretty <laughs> cool. So it's a, That's okay. so cool. So you build it together. You've got that lovely kind of mixer. And then this is where you can load it up. For me, here, I've got a chi bit of chili con carne that you can put on top, Ooh, on weirdly, the top of yours. I, I didn't think that was going to work, but that works so oh, well. It's amazing. It? The spices, those kind of street oh, food spices. I'll have, I'll have a little bit more of that chili. A little bit of really cheese. Really good if you out. want to here. Oh, yeah. yeah. Now, if you want some of these, these are the crispy chilies. If Ooh, you've yeah. ever had these crispy chilies that are in that. oil, they are yeah. outstanding. They're beautiful. You can eat spoonfuls more. of them. Some of the gherkins sit on the top. <laughs> and then stick your bun and your lid on it. And it's a very, very simple, super tasty way. Oh, I can't tell you how tasty it is. So the idea of these chicken, once they're done, they're nice and crispy. Also, you can glaze them. I've made here a little glaze. You've got a glaze on yours. And this glaze Ooh. is kind of like sweet smoked paprika, mm. a little bit of the vinegar, a little bit of sugar, and you just brush it all over the top. That chilli is off the stove. Tommy, you're so good at this. Thank you, mate. Well, I've been doing it a while. You can tell. You can <laughs> tell. This is brilliant, isn't it? Ah. So tasty. I'm going to make this. Well, this is, this is, we'll have this on at Pub in the Park. The tickets are available now at uh, pubintheparkuk.com. The tickets go on sale today, so there's ten sites that we're really looking forward to the summer of touring. Amazing. Tom Kerridge, you've... Genius. Thank, Thank you so very much, much, mate. I'm glad uh, you enjoyed your lunch. We did, we did. For details of today's recipes and more delicious ideas from our chefs, download the free This Morning app.